You, I better unplug it. It was yeah. for the viewers. You did it for the viewers. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today we've got a bit of a treat for you wing nuts out there. Well, we're checking out the brand new uh, ZO HD, the Dart XL. I'm super pumped. This thing, it looks amazing. Like, it looks like it's something out of Star Wars. I've got it in the box. We've got Wingman Johnny coming down. I've been getting a lot, like, I love FPV. Your wings are an absolute blast. So if you want to dive in, you've already got your drone stuff. It's not much extra. You know, you just need your wing, basically. You've already got your radio. You've already got your goggles. You can get one of these bad boys up and flying. But what we're going to do, this is brand new hot off the shelves I think unless it's come off it might still be on pre-order but uh, I'm really really excited to test this out so we're gonna put it together with wingman Jono go over some of the specs and then the fun stuff let's take it out to the field ripping around and I mean like this has like a nine inch prop it should be going about a hundred kilometers per hour I'm very very excited all right let's cut to what it looks like when uh, Jono's put it together in three two one <laughs> <laughs> Radio out here in the field with the ZO HD or the Zod Dart, whatever you want to call it. But this beautiful beast, and I've got to say, this is probably the sexiest looking wing I have ever seen. We've come out here in the Arvo, beautiful day for it. We're going to rip it around, chase some HD footage, chase it with some other wings. That's what wing's all about. But I've also got to give a huge shout out to Wingman Jono because he spent the day going over this thing, learning its ins and outs, going over some of the intricacies, some of the things he was showing me that you get that you get when you get one of these premium wings so things like these little flaps that come out a whole bunch of different servo options and ways to put this thing together it was quite impressive so what we're going to do we're going to hand it over to him he's going to go through the intricacies he'll also talk to tony about it because i know tony's turned up he's very jealous he's jumping around in the background he can't wait to get his mitts on it they'll talk it over show show you guys how it went together it wasn't easy all that sort of stuff and then the fun stuff will fly it but i've got to admit it looks it looks great doesn't it it looks it looks good <laughs> All right, so let's head over to Jono and we'll also go through it with Tony as well. Righty, so Jono, the first thing first I want to go through is can you just talk about the build process, what it was like, and then show us some of the things that come with like a premium wing like this, mm. and then maybe some of the things you would like to change or some of the things you did we had to do to make it, I guess, more suited to us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh man, like um, straight off the bat, like you can tell it's a premium wing. The molding quality and stuff is absolutely excellent. Just how it's thrown together was really, really nice. It's got some very defining features to it. Um, obviously, it's got the sweet forward wings. Um, that comes with these vortex generators with it as well, and which is. Yeah, what's the idea behind those? Okay, the idea behind vortex generators is they like break up the airflow over the top, improve the slow speed characteristics of it. You have like less, uh, your stall speed becomes much slower. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. That's, a, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It means you're not going to stall it. You're not going to nose dive it into yep. the ground, wreck your stuff if you're going too slow. Yep. So this thing, like, we're hoping it's going to be a rocket, but it should also hopefully have some real good slow speed characteristics, which would be really awesome being able to go from like really, really fast to like hooking around a tree really tight and slow. Yeah, I'm hoping for the good proximity flight without wrecking it. Okay, yeah, I don't know once I had to break this one, except I don't even, not even me. You're going to break looked, it, aren't it you? It looks too good. What about putting it together? How did you find putting it together? Um, ease of use out of 10? Ease of putting it together? Yeah, yeah, super easy to put together. Um, plug and play kit, it pretty much, um, most of it's like put together already. Um, you just got to pretty much put the wings on. There's a spar that goes through the wings for support. I remember, um, I remember you showed me something about the servos as well, or the little yeah, connections in um, there. But in the wings in these slots here, there's little connections that connect the servos together. So you don't even have to worry about threading your servo, servo cables through. They're already just clip, clip in, they're good to go. Yep. Yep. This bit in the yep. front as well. You got a nice big fuselage there for your battery, your FPV gear. You're going to fit a ton of stuff in there. Um, it can go up to a 3300 milliamp battery, so that's a huge battery if you want to. All right. Yeah. Um, we uh, also, yep, yep, yeah, cool. huge engine bay in there. You've got your ESC, uh, heaps of space. They've got um, mounts for a flight controller in there. We'll and put stuff all as the well. specs on the screen as well if you yeah. want the, the nitty gritty. Absolutely. But we're all about the fun here when it comes to wings. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what are some things you did like about the build and then some things that you would we had to change or you would like to change? Things that I like about it. It. Um, obviously the ease of putting it together how it looks is amazing um, the couple of things that I don't like about it is uh, we've got like um, the plastic cap on the front that thing if we have a bad nose dive I feel like it's gonna break we yep. saw that on the Tomahawk as well they had the plastic nose we crashed that good it I broke did good. I, I think I crashed that I'm not sure. probably me also when we're doing this I know we had to drill out the front there because it's not made for all the big lenses so we decided to put a Fox Ear Predator in there with quite a large lens and um, uh, these are still made for the much smaller lenses 
houses so we've had to do a bit of a drill out job there to get that to fit in it would be nice if they put a bigger hole there for more for more lenses everyone's moved to bigger lenses with the fpv cameras now so they should just do that pretty much the other thing that is it's kind of like a double-edged sword um basically on the wing we've got the proprietary like connector in there for uh, hooking the wing on to get the servos to connect up it makes it really easy to throw it together it also makes it great if you need to like break it down and store it and stuff but if they break they're a real pain in the butt to deal with they so are so i can't just get them off the shelf at every every hobby shop no no it's not like your normal servo connector they, they're going to be a pain to like you'd probably have to remove them and run a cable through if you have an issue or okay. buy a new one yep. yeah all right anything else uh, other cool things we've got is uh, is the wings all come with the leading edge already like pre-sealed and stuff so you don't have to worry about taping them down that's going to increase the durability which is amazing they've been nice enough to cut like our uh, channels all through the wings like the underside of the wings and inside the Can bay there inside the bay there for running your VTX gear through so you've already got the channels all sorted out and they've also got connectors in the wing there that you can hook up servo leads to to run your VTX and you can run that can in you, and out. Can you show me this part too, like if you want to put yeah. pop your VTX. You can pop that out and you can slap your VTX in the wing there. So then it can be sticking out the top here. So it means yep. you don't have to cram it in the front like we have. Yeah, absolutely. Too easy. All right, Tony, what did you think of his rundown? Because oh. I know you have one on pre-order. <laughs> I do have and, one. And and I know was jealous. And you, when you text me a picture of it, I was definitely jealous. Um, go, looking at this, I, I reckon <laughs> the, the attention to detail and just even the moulding lines just makes it look something special. You know, you've got the grill in the front for the air, air cooling of the ESC. He's brilliant, um, and like you say, the the, the vortices, uh, vortices makers here is, is brilliant. My only concern, looking at the design with with a heavy crash, how durable it's going to be at this point here, mm. which is the same with all of these um, reverse swept wing. I'm, I'm um, a bit more hopeful in that. I found with the original dart, it tapered off heaps and it actually mm. did break the tail stem. But I'm yeah. hoping with the heavy fuselage, it but will look, be better. From what I can see, I think it looks brilliant. It looks like something straight out of Star Wars. Um, I'm not so fussed with this, but I know if you break it, I'm sure I'll be able to do a 3D print and replace them, but I just want to see it fly. Right, see how it goes. You ready? Yep. Let's go have some Can't fun. <laughs> and yep. I reckon by the time you let go, right, your hand's down here. I'm yep. happy to just throw it. Okay. All right, so we're having this discussion. Tony, you're happy to throw it because we've got these little, looks like little hand grooves. Yep. Just under there. here. But aren't you going to sort of, in your pretend, do you know, some pretend launch? I was watching a video the other day of how you launch these things, and they said when you throw them, your hand's actually about 10 inches below the prop by the time it goes. So I'm happy to give it a test flight today. Okay. Or a test throw we today. We might be driving and you to the hospital in one minute's time. Still five fingers. Well, here right, we go. All right. all right, we've got Tony launching, and John A, because you put it together, you're going to do the maiden. Oh, uh, maiden crash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's away. Need to trim anything out? Uh, no, I, I can get it. Looks good in the air, doesn't oh, it? It looks awesome. It's like a bat. <laughs> it? it looks like a bat. Ah! <laughs> All right, Tony's going up. Actually, it's pretty stable. I like that, like that Predator camera. Uh, I know it's called the Dart, but it feels more like a bit of a cruiser to me. I love with wings how long you can just fly for. Like the flight time is ridiculous. Well, I'm over good. the big bushy bush. <laughs> what a good name, the, the big bushy bush. bushy bush.
The triple B. <laughs> Alright, so you want me to do a slow low? Yeah, do a slow low. See how it feels. Real slow. You can go slower. It feels stable, but it, it doesn't feel as responsive, if that makes sense. Like, it just holds its position. But I'm going to do a slow one here. But it doesn't feel like on the sticks it's as responsive. It really does just glide down though. Then you got to pull out. I'm doing a split S. Now I'm going back the other way, Tony. So Tony comes and lands. Okay, yeah. here's, the, here's the challenge. Tony comes and lands. And then we hand over radios and we change goggles without this thing landing though. You keen, Tony? Yeah. Alright, you got to bring yours in and then jump to F7 and then we got this. It'll be easy. Then we just got to <laughs> hand the radio over. It always goes bad. Ah, oh, I see ya. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Who got scared a little bit then? <laughs> I moved out of the way. <laughs> I got a little bit scared. I'm being dead honest. I was like, that's cool, but it, it doesn't have the extreme punch that the others have. If that makes sense. Johnny? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm plug, I can't see. <gasps> oh! Is there nothing coming through? Get out. No, nah, but it was. I had to dump it. It was going for the road. Did you bring it close before you unplugged? <laughs> That's all right. Oh. I'll go do the walk of shame. <laughs> I gotta come see this. Right. Well, what happened then, Stu? Well, Tony bought his uh, Calibri. Is it the Calibri? Kaiparina over. Uh, quite close. And while I was over here, and I had to dump it for safety reasons. Yeah. Oh. Now, so, this is the real test. How did it hold up in a legit hardcore crash? Yeah, this is where we're gonna see what really goes wrong with it. Uh, and this is, uh, I feel like with this crash, this is where we're gonna see- Were you see... watching on the, did you see the goggles? No, oh. I was watching- Oh, the GoPro was good, it'll, it'll show it. <laughs> oh. And what sort of fire or? Uh, it was like a trajectory like this, turning, nose diving. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it nose. <laughs> it, was, it was a nose. Oh, now I feel bad. It's all right. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be pulling my hot glue gun out on this one. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's also the beauty about wings, is you can fix them so easily. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, it, uh, I mean, we didn't like the motor part on the back already because that was annoying. We'll go through the pros and cons, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But uh, I'm interested. <laughs> oh, I can see some pieces. He's looking rough. <laughs> or is that a bit of rubbish? It's that bit to the right that I'm not oh, sure about. No, that's bits of a wing. Oh, it's a whole nose. Oh my God. Oh, I did make that prediction. Oh. All right. All right, uh, so, hey, Tony. You want to say oh, called it? Oh, that's Dylan. You want to say called it? Yeah, called it. <laughs> Does it fare too well with a nose dive? No, and I guess it is a bit nose heavy. I feel bad. Don't worry about it, mate. It's all for the, look, you did it. You, I better unplug it. It was yeah. for the viewers. You did it for the viewers because- uh, For your viewing Yeah, pleasure. that's right. Because they need to know, how is it going to hold up in a crash? Not very well. <laughs> Maybe this is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> oh man. Oh God. <laughs> To be honest, right. to be honest, like that's I, gluable. Yeah, yeah. excellent. <laughs> oh, mate, we've just no, no, snapped no. all this wood. No, 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 come on, let's uh, let's be realistic about this. Okay, uh, okay. All right, no, jigsaw right. it back together. That let's see. Go in, look at that. That is a. <laughs> that is a not quite. No, it's missing the pieces. Way. It's around the wrong way. It goes this way, mate. But ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's, um, that's yep. a perfect. We fit. might be able to fix it. Gap yeah. Tape. Uh, that's a fit there. Huh? That's good. Yep. This goes just. Hang on. This is still Look recording. how much grass it ate. I know, that's gone in, that's gone in deep. <laughs> oh, hang on, this is that's what she that's... said. Pull that out. The last thing I saw was nose diving towards yeah, the ground. Yeah, uh, That'll go like that. You know, a lot of that'll just buff right out. Nothing at hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> the GoPro's just permanently on. Put those pieces in. Oh, hang on, there's a bit missing. <laughs> where, where is that bit? Yeah, it's, it's, a bit oh. Or is this in? <clears throat> No, no, that's no, it, no, that's yeah. it, that's oh, it, no, that's sorry, it. No, where's the top there, part? Just there. Oh, that's okay. It. No, that's it. <laughs> that was going to buff right out. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. See? You, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't even know. It's like off the shelf, ready to roll. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Maybe a tip for viewers. 
before you fly and crash for the first time, maybe a carbon fiber spa to reinforce the nose. Especially if it's that big. Especially if all you right. have such a big nose. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. So, uh, all right, you two bozos, we've had some fun. <laughs> we had a great time, but we've smashed the wing. So I'm gonna say, Iceman, it looks pretty cool without the nose on it. Look yeah. at it like that. But what I can say, look how well the motor stayed on. <laughs> After we've taped it. So let's get serious here. Yeah. Pros and cons, things we like, things we didn't like. I liked its flight characteristics. I thought it felt like, in, in terms of a s slow flyer, it didn't have heaps of poke for me, but it was pretty good at not stalling. It definitely did feel, it, and it looked amazing in the air too, chasing around. Best looking wing that I've seen. But what about you, Jono? What are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah, I really like the slow flying. Like I was saying, I feel like it could do with a bit more punch. Like I'd really like a bit more top end speed on it. So maybe crank out the KV on the motor a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, like uh, it's a shame it had to end like this, but at least now we're going to see whether it repairs any decently. Yeah, and nothing that hot glue. Like I, in all honesty, we've been having a laugh about what's happened to it, but. Do you feel like this is the end of this wing or with a bit of hot glue and a little bit of love it'll be up and flying again? Funnily enough I feel like yeah hot glue I could jigsaw that back together. Um, I feel like if I wanted to go all out I'd buy a couple of carbon spars mm. and I'd reinforce it like um, along the nose. So, uh -huh. if, so if we have a crash like that again it has a higher chance of surviving. All right, and what about you Tony? What are your thoughts? Look, I think the. Uh, I hope one of them is guilt. I hope that's creeping in there. There's, there's, an, imme <laughs> there's an immense sense of guilt, but also yeah. some revenge for the last time you crashed that's into me true, up here. That's true. But, but that aside, Stuart, um, look, look how well the wings held up. I mean, nose aside, if we just hide that bit, the rest of it looks perfect. It looks, there's nothing wrong it with looks it. It's unreal. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. But yeah, hot glue, gaffer tape. Should be back flying again. And that was one of your predictions. You worried about the strength of the nose towards well, the, when we when we before we took it up. Yeah, and I think that's the proof right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what would you say to the uh, ZO HD people for for a little revision or people at home? Um, maybe some reinforcements, some carbon in the in the nose, just to give it a bit more stiffness, and uh, maybe give it to a more experienced pilot. Oh, get out! <laughs> No worries. <laughs> Thanks. You bloody dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get these pieces. Uh, right. Stop that. Oh, we got to stop yeah. that GoPro yeah. that's going. <laughs> Alrighty, there it is. There's my crashed review of the ZO HD or the Dart, whatever it is, the XL. There's my review of the Dart, and overall, it really was a premium wing, but unfortunately, thanks to uh, some incidents that could have been avoided, Tony, what well, we did, it's crashed into the ground into a million pieces. It did fly really, really nicely, but the beautiful thing about wings is it's just a bit of foam and hot glue. So it might look like it's completely total, but trust me, it's very, very easy to put back together. And if, uh, I know Jono's taking it back home, he's gonna reinforce it with some extra struts, all that sort of stuff for next time. But uh, wings are very easy to put back together and get flying again. So that's the beauty about hot glue and tape. You can almost fix anything. But I'd love to know what you guys think what do you think about that dart what do you think about flying wings does it look fun do you think a premium wing is worth it over something like the ar wing let's have a discussion down below uh, other than that subscribe for more fpv related wing crashing action thanks to tony and as always happy flying